Have you heard about a guy who's literally too big for the NFL? Meet John Cron, a 7 foot tall giant who's so massive he can't even stand up on his own. But he's got the strength of three NFL players combined. And that's just the beginning. Let me tell you about some other unbelievable players like an NFL quarterback who tipped the scales at a whopping 560 pounds, a D1 football player who's completely blind, and a 4 foot tall running back who's so talented he plays D1 football. But first, let's dive into the story of a football player who only has half a body. Dave Stevens Dave had a rough start. Born to a 15-year-old mom who gave him up for adoption, Dave came into the world in Phoenix, Arizona. Healthy, but with flipper-like limbs instead of legs. Can you imagine facing that kind of challenge from day one? But guess what? Dave wasn't about to let that hold him back. As a kid, he was determined to play sports. With the help of his parents and coaches, he tackled football, baseball, and wrestling in high school. Yeah, he'd run on his hands in baseball, making it tough for opponents to catch him. In wrestling, they struggled to hold him down, and in football, he'd grab onto his opponent's legs and never let go. He was so good that he broke several state records. But even with all that, people still doubted him. So, to prove everyone wrong, Dave made history in college by becoming the first legless athlete to play football, baseball, and wrestle at Augsburg University. In 1996, he scored a three-week contract with the St. Paul Saints, a pro baseball team. He didn't stop there. Dave tried out for the Dallas Cowboys, Cincinnati Reds, and Minnesota Twins, and he even trained with Barry Bonds at the Olympic baseball tryouts in 1983. He's thrown the first pitch of three games and worked out with the Tampa Rays and Minnesota Twins. He's shown us what real determination looks like, right? And if you think Dave's story is amazing, wait till you hear about our next player, Cody Casey. What if I told you there was a football player who lost his leg right in the middle of a game? In 2014, Cody Casey was playing for Georgetown when he got hit from the side by another player while blocking. His leg broke instantly. Cody was rushed to the hospital, and doctors did emergency surgery. His leg seemed fine for a while, but then it got infected. They had to do nine more surgeries, but none worked. So the doctors gave Cody a tough choice. Keep the leg, but it would never work properly or have it amputated. After thinking it over, Cody decided to have his leg removed. It turned out to be a blessing in disguise because he got a prosthetic leg that let him run. Just nine months later, he rejoined Georgetown, now on the kick return team. On his first playback, he stunned everyone by returning kicks like a champ. With that new prosthetic, he was faster than ever. Talk about an epic comeback. Jake Olsen Now, check out this next player who's missing both eyes but still made it to a D1 college team. Meet Jake Olsen. When he was just eight months old, he lost his right eye to a rare cancer. By 12, he lost his left eye too. But did that stop him? Not a chance. Jake was set on playing football. At first, he had a rough time. The coaches thought, there's no way he'll ever learn to snap the ball. They even put him on the bench saying he'd be a backup player. But Jake didn't give up. He practiced snapping the ball every single day, doing hundreds of reps to get it right. By high school, Jake had become the best long snapper on his team. After an amazing season, he got a spot at USC. On his first game day, he made a huge impact. Jake was out there snapping the ball, and the crowd went crazy. The USC sideline was pumped. It was such a powerful moment, and even though Jake couldn't see it, he could feel the excitement. What an incredible story of never giving up. Jason Carter Next up, let's talk about the shortest college football player ever. Jason Carter at just 4 feet 9 inches tall and 130 pounds, this running back made a big impact at Rice University, a D1 school. Jason figured out how to use his height to his advantage. In high school, being so low to the ground meant he could duck past defenders easily. On defense, he was a real pass going straight for the ankles. By his senior year, he had 18 touchdowns and 92 tackles. Those stats were so impressive, he walked into a D1 team. In 2013, he made history as the shortest player ever to play in a college football game. So it turns out size really doesn't matter. 
But if you think that's wild, wait until you hear about some NFL players who are even more unbelievable. Derek Coleman Let's talk about Derek Coleman who made it to the NFL despite being deaf. Diagnosed with hearing loss at just three years old due to a genetic condition, Derek faced a lot of challenges growing up. He moved around a lot and got picked on in school, being called names like four years. But football became a safe haven. Derek's parents encouraged him to speak up for himself at school, and he took that same courage onto the football field. He had to get creative using lip reading and mouth guards to understand plays and communicate with teammates. His hard work paid off big time. Derek earned a full scholarship at UCLA, and in 2012, he made history by signing with the Seattle Seahawks as the first deaf offensive player in the NFL. He might not be able to hear the cheers, but trust me, we're all cheering for him. Alex Hurlburt Now let's dive into Alex Hurlburt's story, a college football player who's absolutely crushing it with just one hand. Alex was born without his left arm, but that didn't hold him back. Instead, he trained his right arm to be incredibly strong, and that strength helped him become one of the best linebackers in Oregon. He even snagged the conference Player of the Year title and a full ride to play D1 football at the University of Montana. Growing up, Alex's parents were super supportive, encouraging him to play sports. He didn't want to be known as the kid with one arm. He just wanted to be the kid. His story even caught the eye of Shaquem Griffin, a Seattle Seahawks linebacker who also has one hand. Griffin gave Alex a shout out on Twitter, which Alex says really inspired him. After football, Alex took his unique situation to the next level by becoming a one-arm power lifter. And get this, he's dead lifting over 600 pounds with basically one arm. Now that's turning a challenge into a superpower. Haley Van Voorhis Now there's a player ready to change football forever, and she's breaking all sorts of records. Meet Haley Van Voorhis. Since she was five, Haley dreamed of playing in the NFL. She practiced hard every day and eventually got a spot at Shenandoah University. But here's a twist. She didn't join as a kicker, punter, or long snapper. No, this 5'6", 145-pound dynamo is a safety. Even though she made the team, Haley was benched for three years. But she didn't give up. She spent that time improving her game. And in 2023, she made history in a game against Juniata College. Believe me, you wouldn't want to be tackled by her. Haley's path from flag football in elementary school to tackle football in sixth grade was amazing. She was the first girl to ever play football at her high school, Christchurch. As the boys around her grew bigger and stronger, Haley hit the gym to keep up. Her family even got a trainer to help her speed up because she knew she needed to be fast to reach the next level. In 2019, she earned All-State Honorable Mention, although her senior season was canceled due to COVID-19. Even when some boys refused to tackle her and other parents whispered about the little blonde girl playing football, Haley and her family didn't let it bother them. They didn't believe that women were too fragile for the game. Haley showed that not only can she play, but she can also change the game. And that's a wrap. These stories prove that no matter the odds, you can make it in football if you've got the heart and drive. Which story inspired you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more cool stories. And if you're ready for more, click the video on your screen now. Thanks for watching.